All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video, another episode of Making Games. We're at day 99, would you believe? So today is the first day of week number 15. 14 sevens is 98 by my maths, which means that today is day 99. And tomorrow, being a Sunday, is day 100. So a couple things I just want to mention. Uh, the man bun. The man bun is getting put up uh, for gym sessions now. And if I don't want to wear a hat, I'm putting my hair up in a fucking bun. But what I will say, guys, is that today I did a 12-hour shift and I came home and my hair is still relatively um, in good shape. So, you know, I, I do believe that as of today, day 99, I can officially put my hair up in a man bun. So there you go, it just took about 10 months. But with all that being said, guys, um, I feel like, I feel, I feel like I need to complain to someone. And you guys are my voice, you guys are my platform, and you guys are my shoulder to cry on when I need it. And, you know, I have worked six 12-hour shifts and one nine-hour shift in the last seven days. So from Sunday last week to tonight, which is Saturday night, I've done six, six 12s is 72, plus nine is 81, an 81 hour work week. And that doesn't normally happen because we have a couple of days off here and there. Um, the shifts aren't always 12 hour shifts, but I tell you what, this last week, especially after just coming back from holiday, feeling stressed about getting back to work and then just being slammed like this, I'm, I'm feeling tired, man. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted, but you know, it, it sucks because I've been trying to do a push-pull leg split, but after 12 hours, at 12 hours at work, man, and knowing that I've got to be back at work in 12 hours, and every second after work that I fucking fuck around is taking time off that I can actually sleep. So trying to take enough prepared food to work so that I can have meals throughout that 12 hours is, is tough. It's not impossible, you know, I'm doing it. I am training still every day and I'm eating all my meals every day. But the sleep and the recovery is not there. So tonight I am going to head to the gym. I'm gonna do another big leg session. It's been just over a week since my last one and it took probably a good five or six days to actually for my legs to actually come right because I just slammed them so bad. So tonight I'm going to Anytime Fitness. I went to Lasseter's Hotel Casino last leg workout. You saw me on the Smith Machine, etc. We're going to Anytime Fitness tonight. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to hit. I just need to get down there first because I've been procrastinating about this leg workout. And I've got night shift tomorrow, so I, I am officially still working another 12-hour shift tomorrow and the next day before I actually get a day off, but it is a night shift, so that means that I start work at 9 o'clock tomorrow night, it's about 10 o'clock at night now, so I've got a good 23 hours off until I need to get uh, back to work. So with that said, tonight's going to be a big leg workout, we're going to have a nice post-workout meal. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, I'm going to have a nice breakfast, and then I'm going to go and smash another workout, and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it guys, I, I really cannot wait to sleep in, that's all I've got to say. So, before I rattle on too much, that is a little bit of an update, it is day 99, we're going to go to the gym now, I'm going to take a pre-workout drink, which is actually going to be a can of Monster that I've got in the fridge, and leg up. Alright guys, what is going on? We're back with another voiceover. Um, like I've done previously, this video is just going to cover a few sets, a few sets from the workout. I'm not going to show you everything, but we are going to show you the most important sets and the sets that you make the most gains from, which is the final working set 
of the five for each exercise, which is also a drop set. So you're seeing here uh, my first exercise, which was goblet squats. Now I would still call this a compound exercise. It's an exercise that mimics a front squat. Um, I much prefer front squat style movements than your conventional back squat movements. I feel like I can uh, keep my, my back more upright, um, which is certainly the case. Um, holding the weight out on your shoulders and out in front of you um, allows you to sort of sit right back into the movement. Um, kind of like a Smith Machine squat. It allows me to put my feet in front, allows me to sit right back into the movement and really counter counter that weight that you've got in the front um, with your ass, basically. And um, like you can see, we did, uh, I think it was 10 reps with the 50. We did another eight to 10 with the 40. And now we're down to uh, the 30 kilo weight, just repping it out, just getting the most out of the movement. And that was, that was it for the first exercise, guys. Goblet squats, done. Five working sets. Uh, the last one was a triple drop. Then I went over to another compound exercise where today I was feeling relatively good um, and we did a box squat. So box squats, um, I, I, I like as an alternative to your conventional back squats. Once again, I just don't, I don't feel um, back squats. I feel like having to stop yourself at the bottom of the movement and bring yourself back up with heavy weight is um, it's not necessary. If you can have something to sort of give yourself a little bit of cushioning at the bottom, um, like a box, like you're seeing right here, I think, why not? Why not do it? Um, the way I'm doing these reps, this is the final set once again, it's a drop set uh, with 130 kg. We dropped it down to 100, and then once again dropped it down again for a triple drop set down to 60. So, so the way I do box squats, guys, is either one of two ways. Um, I'll either sit right down on the box, um, take all the, the tension off the quads, take all the weight on the box and then stand back up again. Or I'll just go down and slightly tap my ass on the box and then and go back up again. Now, the, the way that you're seeing right now, uh, taking the tension off the quads, rocking back and then rocking forward and, and standing up, that's a lot harder than just tapping it. Um, for example, if I'm going to do 130 kgs, just tap and go, I'll probably be able to get at least 10 to 12 good reps. If I'm doing it um, stop start, like sitting down properly, taking the, taking the tension off the quads like I said and then standing back up again with 130, um, those tw that 12 reps will probably come down to about 8 reps. Um, but, but yeah, anyways, box squats, another great movement, I love them. Like I said, you're seeing the final set here. We did 130 kgs, 100 kgs, and now this is the last few reps with 60. And following this, guys, my legs were pretty fucked. That's 10 total working sets with two triple drop sets as well as warm-ups. Um, anything, anything from here, guys, is pretty much a bonus. I'm not gonna lie guys, that absolutely fucked me. Jeez. I had to take the glasses off for that one. I knew it was gonna be bad. Now we're gonna go, go to something a little bit easier. The leg extension. 20 rep sets, as you guys know. Five sets, five working sets, 20 reps. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're back. And this is the final exercise, uh, leg extension, targeting the quads. We're going for 20 rep sets at 75 kilos, and this is one of them. Um, I did have plans of uh, finishing on a walking lunge. That didn't happen. Um, one thing I will say is that if I do finish on a walking lunge, four, you know, four, five, six sets worth, my glutes are so sore the next day. So that is one tip I give to any of you girls out there that want to build your glutes. Don't be afraid of doing walk and lunges. They seem to be the one thing that hit my glutes the most. But with that said, guys, I'm going to go now. I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Hope you've enjoyed. Peace out.
guys, so we've just arrived home. Could have probably done another exercise, something like a walking lunge, but I decided not to. My legs were pretty fried, especially my quads, and my knee was actually giving me a little bit of trouble, so I went over to the foam roller, and I probably spent a good 20 to 30 minutes on the foam roller, especially around my knees, um, making sure that <clears throat> I got all of that tightness and tension out of it. They were nice and soft again. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, feeling, feeling good. So hopefully that will reduce the tightness tomorrow, I feel, around the, the knee joint. Um, and... I hope for the best, so legs is out of the way, I didn't do any hamstring focus work tonight, um, doesn't bother me, you know, I'm not competing, so, anyways guys, I'm going to call it here, tomorrow I'm going to make a day 100 vlog, and it should be good, I'll do a physique update, and like you guys saw, I just weighed in before, at 100kg, so it's going to be called Day 100, making gains, day 100, the 100kg physique, and I'm going to do a physique update, as well as <clears throat> whatever else happens, so, I can't even talk, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking knackered, to be fair, I'm just going to eat something, and then head to sleep, so, I'll see you guys in the morning, have a great night, train hard, eat well, I love you guys, peace. Stranded, reaching